Over the past three decades, advancements in Doppler radar technology have revolutionized the field of meteorology, giving us great insights into all types of weather. But what is actually being done today to further advance this technology? Well, one innovation that is making waves is phased array radars. It might seem like an overhaul to the radar is long overdue, considering what's used today can be traced back to the 1980s. Of course, there have been upgrades along the way, but the network of 160 radars may be on track for a replacement. That is why we want to introduce you to the future of storm tracking, phased array radar. While it might be cutting edge for meteorology, the military has been using the technology since the 1960s. David Schwartzman, a professor at the University of Oklahoma, is leading the way in collecting data and already sees the advantages. The main key advantage of using phased array that we're looking for in meteorological applications compared to a dish is to speed up the scan, the volume scan times. Current radars use a single fixed antenna to scan the sky. The antenna transmits a pulse and listens for a return signal from a target. These pulses move at the speed of light but are very short in duration. In operation, they use a scanning strategy in which the antenna will race through several predefined elevation angles. These angles allow us to examine developing and decaying storms at different heights in the atmosphere. It's like pointing a flashlight at something you want to illuminate. Unlike current radars, phase array radars utilize many small antennas that can be electronically controlled to steer the radar beam without physically moving the device. This is very helpful when we want to look at two different storms without having to waste any time scanning between the storms. The most advanced weather radar in the world, called Horus, is a phase array radar that's mounted on a truck. It's capable of obtaining data with the highest quality and resolution to not only look deeper into thunderstorms, but to capture never-before-seen occurrences on radar. The most recent innovations that we've discovered is uh, we have never actually been able to see uh, lightning flashes uh, in the radar data. Uh, we've seen some small reflections from the lightning plasma. Occasionally, we could catch it with a dish radar. Uh, very like just sporadically, not really fast. Uh, but with the phased array, when we can scan a whole uh, vertical column in less than one second, uh, we've been seeing entire lightning flashes and plasma reflection structures uh, in the data in real time. Time is of the essence when it comes to tracking storms, and that is just another huge advantage of this radar. So instead of having five minute volume scan times, we want to have 30 second full volume scan times. If, if we see a tornado uh, with a dish right now, We'll see a picture of the tornado every five minutes. And so you see it here, and then the next five minutes, it moves really fast. It's some completely different location, and you don't know what happened in between, right? And it's really hard to predict where it's going to go or what's going to happen. So if we could see it every 30 seconds, or maybe even less, every five seconds, uh, you know, we see a very smooth flowing movie uh, where we can understand the physics of what's happening with the storm and where it's going and predict and anticipate um, severe weather a lot better. Faster scans and more data, all in an effort to help understand thunderstorms and provide more advanced warnings, even if it takes another decade before it's ready for daily use. I think phased array is definitely the future. Um, I think there's a lot that we will learn once we start deploying them more regularly and coming up with new concepts, new ways of scanning. Um, and I think we're just, just at the beginning of this uh, at this point. For Storm Team 12, I'm meteorologist Halen Woolhite.